Hey Mustangs, welcome back to LCTV. The rodeo is coming to Houston, the Olympics are happening, and what would you do if you were president? We have a lot to get to, so let's get started. Hey Mustangs, my name is Andrew Espinosa. And I'm Caitlin Fries, and, and you're, you're watching, watching LCTV right, right here, right, right now. now. Today is Friday, February 23rd, and it is the last day of the fourth six weeks, which, al which also means we have early release. Now to what's happening in the news. Sean White has represented the United States Olympic team in spectacular fashion, placing first place in the halfpipe event, earning the U.S. a gold medal and a third gold medal towards his own collection. Great job, Sean White. The Houston Rodeo is coming back in town and everyone in the Houston area is ready. The rodeo and concerts begin next Tuesday. There will be many rides, great food, and great performances. So if you're going to the rodeo, we hope you have a great time. Our Phillies did a contest preview for the school last Thursday and their performance went very well. The show is a preview of what the Phillies will perform at their upcoming dance contest. There are more details coming up as reporting gives us a scoop later in the show. Good luck, Phillies. Next, being president is no easy task, and this week our features team went around the school and asked the students of Lamar what they would do if they were president. If I was a president, I would give free food to everyone. If I was president, I would change the national anthem song to Kendrick Lamar that Friday because it is inspiration. If I were president, I would do everything Donald Trump is it doing. Uh, if I was president, I would make peace with North Korea and all the other countries that we have problems with. Man, let me tell you, there's so many things I would do. I'll probably start off, uh, obviously, number one, change lunches. Can't do that no more. Uh, lower the price on gas, it's too much. Um, I would legalize a lot of stuff that isn't illegal right now. Um, yeah, that's probably my thing. If I was president, uh, I would buy a lot of cars and uh, have fun. If I was president, I would have better control of all the guns that are sold in the U.S. to prevent at least some of the violence that's going on. Those are some interesting responses. Thanks, Features. After the break, reporting catches up with the Phillies and their recent activities. Cookies for dollar, sugar cookies, chocolate brown, M&M &M cookies, chocolate chip cookies, slushies for $2, and room E113. Welcome back. Let's turn to reporting as they see how the Phillies did on their contest preview last Thursday. What's up Mustangs? I'm you here at Fountain TV. This week we interviewed some Phillies to see how they did the contest preview. Let's take a look. I think that I did okay. I could have done a lot better, but it was a good start performance for a contest for on Saturday. I think I can prove by um, the energy level that I had and also my facials, some certain things that um, get you to first place. I think I did pretty well considering that our dances are back to back and it was very exhausting, but there's definitely room for improvement. Um, I think I can improve on my movement quality and my energy level um, for our contest. Last night, I I think I did pretty well. Um, I hit like my leaps and stuff. Um, I think there were a little tiny issues, so in the next coming weeks before we go to contest, I'm gonna work on that and make sure I'm on time. I'm perfect. Um, I believe I did well last night, but I mean, there's always room for improvement, so I just have to have more confidence, a lot more confidence in myself, and I mean, work harder. I practice, give it your all. Good luck to the players of the contest. For the Rock and Television, I'm Mario O'Hara, and back to you, Andrew. We'll get back to you after these messages. Good luck to TSA. They compete in regionals tomorrow, and we know they will represent. Are you interested in joining Mustang Media? Applications to join the, the yearbook magazine and your very own LCTV are due to Miss Monty on March 2nd. Today, through the lunch, you can buy candy, sodas, and snacks in the cafeteria. Make sure to bring your cash. Lamar Drumline has surpassed their score from last year. We are looking forward to what they are offering in the future. Welcome back. Now, the Olympics are still in session and a lot has happened in Mustang sports. Let's toss it to Liz for the details. Welcome back, Mustangs. Yesterday, the baseball team played Galena Park in Cypress Lakes in a tournament at Hastings. We will have their tournament results for you next week. 
The Lady Mustang softball team had an intense weekend playing six schools throughout the Rice Consolidated Tournament. Overall, they went 4-2. and two. On Tuesday, the ladies played Sweeney at home, and today they take on Hastings at home. So come out and show your support at 4.30 for JV and 6 p.m. for Varsity. The basketball team had their playoff game at Quero on Tuesday, and we interviewed some of the players before the game to talk about their incredible regular season. The playoffs is right around the corner. One step closer to the big, to the big, to the big title. A little struggle sometimes, like communicating at some points, but you know we got better. We got better as the season went. We always working together. We come up days by ourselves to early to get extra work. So we can get together to become closer so we can all achieve that one goal that we all want. Last week, the JV tennis team competed at a tournament, and today the varsity team is at Wharton competing. On Tuesday, all the soccer teams took on the Foster Falcons, with the boys competing at home and the ladies playing away. Here are their scores. Our district been going good. We only lost two games out of like seven, eight games we have won. Right now we're in second place. Our hope is to go to like stay and get district championship. So uh, so far the season's been pretty well. Uh, we're four and one right now. Practice is great. Uh, we're working hard. We're staying on the grind. We're ready for our next game. Boys tonight as they play Calhoun at home for their parent night game. That's all for this week, Mustangs. Back to you. Thank you, Liz, for the updates on sports. That's all for this week, Mustangs. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to tune in next week and stick around for the credits. From all of us here at LCTV, I'm Caitlin Fries. And I'm Andrew Espinosa. And, and we, we are, are Americans, we are Mustangs, Mustangs and, and yes, we are, are the future. future. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend. When is our school established? 1949. 1949. 1949. 1949. What are our school colors? Blue, white, and gray, he said. Yeah. Blue, gray. Navy, blue, and white. Blue, white, and gray. <laughs>